So there's 16 people going on the trip. We leave on June 21st and we come back on July 2nd. And so we travel to the Netherlands and we spend a couple days in like lectures and then um, the actual days of competition where we go against all these other you know companies and um, PhD programs and everything. This right now is our kind of third iteration robot. We started sophomore year making a robot completely out of Legos. And then last year we made like a new robot out of Legos, but then started switching from Lego parts to parts that we design on the computer. So this is our complete non-Lego robot made out of parts printed on our modeler printer and the laser printer. And so these are kind of like mini robots that we make to navigate our course that we have to find like fake victims and kind of practice for real life situations. And so when we go to the Netherlands, we have this like giant robot that is made to find actual victims. You have to be able to map the course and go from floor to floor. And since the victims are heat sources, there will be things like a fire in the maze that'll you know throw off your thermal sensors. It's all stuff like that that you gotta work with. And sort of adding on to the issue is the fact that we're going up against colleges. We're the only high school that participates. So we got a lot of tough competition while we're doing all this. There are 13 uh, countries, 12 besides the U.S., that are competing in this event. And the only one other one from the U.S. that made it was University of California, Irvine. None of the other colleges were able to make it except for us and for our high school. Um, they're, all, they're all colleges. They are from Iran. They're from Germany. They're from... Um, Japan, Thailand, just all over the world coming here to compete in this challenge.